how are you? Right now, during the day, the weather's beautiful now, so I hop out of bed and, you know, get the normal stuff done, like make my bed and such, and get everybody breakfast, and then I put, uh, drop kids at school, and then I put on my clothes to go out, and I love to exercise. I mean, this weather just gets me going, so I'll either do like... Um, go to a trail, go to some ex uh, neighborhoods like around mine, walk in my neighborhood, or um, I'll do um, a workout video. So today that's what I'm going to do. I try to get in at least an hour a day. I think, I mean, that's suggested clinically. So, I mean, unless you have anything health-wise that you need to avoid, I've personally talked to my doctor. Um, you need to talk to your um your internist or you know your family practice doctor and see for your size what weight you should be like your BMI and see what kind of calories uh, you should be consuming a day and how much activity you should be putting in um, per day and then if you have a certain medications that you're on or any sort of health history they'll discuss with you you know, what is best given those parameters. I just, you know, listen to your doctor and do what your doctor says. That's what they're there for. Trust them and then stay, stick with it. Um, it's for a reason. It's for longevity. And um, speaking of last which, last season, I listened to Cameron Diaz's body book on uh, the Overdrive app, I listen to audiobooks when I work out. I'm one of those people. <laughs> I'm nerdy. But I love to read, and it's just been so hard to read since my last one's been born. Um, you know, since when she finished up breastfeeding and everything. Like, breastfeeding's a great time to be able to get some reading in, believe me. But um, since then, I've been on to audiobooks. It's like I'll dedicate an hour a day to be able to uh, work out. And that's also the time that I dedicate to a book. So um, instead of listening to music, that's what I do. Because I usually listen to music when I clean. I like to do that. So a daily music and daily book is good for the soul. So she did this book called Longevity. Now, it isn't out on audiobook yet because it's a brand new book. Um, I'm liking it so far, but really, I want to get this in the audiobook version. Right now, I'm listening to... My phone is so dirty. Hold on, let me pull it up. Okay, on the Overdrive app... Click that. I'm listening to... Can you see this? Hunger Makes Me a Modern Girl by Carrie Brownstein. It's really good. You just click on it. Let me turn my volume up. Back at who we were. It was so Northwest, all about the music. The 90s had a monolithic feel, a sturdiness, realism as opposed to fantasy. In the punk scenes we came from, honesty was valued tantamount, or even more so than artistry. Okay, so what I do is, this is for free. It's through the library. I had it featured on my, oh, hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Okay, where was I? That was my um, massage therapist and friend uh, calling because we're scheduling an appointment. Cranial massage, or wait, cranial sacral massage therapy, look it up get into it oh yeah she did so the overdrive app it's free you put in i talked about it on my favorites video but listen it's so good what's going on right now i got my earbuds out of here my little makeshift holder so i got that ready to go i changed my purse out last night and i just love like having a newly you know, freshly organized purse working. So I am going to go out and get my exercise done. And then, here we go. And then take a shower, um, pick up the kids. I've got to get, oh, let's see. I'll show you this right now. Because this is realistically what I need to do. This is the stuff I got, first of all, for hosting this Tupperware party. I love these. I use these all the time. Um... This is for the fridge. This could be freezer as well. This could be freezer as well. These, this is a whole chip and dip set with these that hook on the side. And then this, which is perfect, I think, for scrambled eggs because I can use it in my nonstick. But not only is it like a spatula, but you know, you can scoop easily with it. 
Um, I got these. I still have to get one more from the set, but aren't those adorable? And I love it. I mean, these are completely spill-proof tops. I use these all the time. Um, so that was great to get those. And I also got, now I bought these, and I'm still waiting. There's two more in the set. I like to get these, like, limited edition holiday sets. And because, for one thing, I mean, they are limited. They're, like, you know, one of a kind. They don't keep carrying these. So I just got the ghost and the scarecrow so far for Halloween. But aren't those, those will be so cute for the season. Uh, this is, that's my coffee. I'm done with coffee today. But look at this gorgeous flower arrangement. I mean, it's just beautiful. Now, I, I arranged the flowers, but the flowers, this, this whole thing is from um, Costco. I did, oh, let's see. Here's, I've got this little arrangement. I've got little baby arrangements that I did in my bathroom and in the girls' bathroom. And uh, they just turned out beautiful. I think the bouquets, he got two bouquets and they were $15 each. So $30 and I made one, two very large bouquets and then one, two, four small bouquets and had them around. So those looked really good. But I'm going to get out dinner now for tonight. Whoa. Okay, so I'm getting ready to exercise like I told you. This is what I do. This was in the freezer. I fill it, you know, halfway. See how it's halfway? Because I fill it with water and then I lay it on its side. Can you see the ice there? Um, I don't know. I can't really see the ice. Maybe you can't. Right there. So it lays on its side and then, you know, you can still see in the opening, I can fill it. So this stays really cold for a long time. Okay, so that's filled. And we are good to go with the water. That's a liter of water. And then this is a Tupperware thing that I recommended, and I use this all the time, and I did um, a video of, like, meal prep. I guess that's what I called it. I'm not quite sure. I'll link it below. But uh, where I made, you know, extra hamburgers, this is what's left of them. Um... So, apparently, I made them on April the 4th, but I'm going to let these thaw now. Let's see. One, two, three, four patties. So, I'll cook that tonight. Um, so, I got that out for the day. So, that's, you know, an example of how I would start, you know, my day with that. I did this into, like, a flower arrangement because of the cray paper. If anything were to happen... You know, I didn't want to light a candle in here. This is a candle holder. So it's kind of weird looking, but I like it. This is another little arrangement that I did. The TV. Oh, hold on, TV emergency. Let's get going. Go and get some exercise in. Is there a bird? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's got her Little Mermaid Tupperware cup. Since I only have one today, I have mine here and an extra snack my book which I love because it's reminding me of so many bands that I have loved and that were just like such a big part of my life that I haven't listened to in much too long. Well the third day in a row it's definitely I can feel it in my legs. <clears throat> I may go a shorter distance tomorrow. This one is sleepy now. So, you know, I don't want to disturb her, and it is encouraging me to go further, and the book is fantastic, about this far into the water, oops, running off the road. Hey everybody, back from a short walk. It's looking kind of ominous outside. It's supposed to storm pretty badly today, so I didn't want to be out there with like, you know, an aluminum stroller <laughs> getting stuck in a storm. So, but I am warmed up. I went for a nice, a nice walk, just a short one, 
And now I'm going to do um, my favorite workout video. Not only is it my favorite workout video, oops, wait, I still have this because I was listening to my audiobook. Shape Your Body video from 1992. Yes, I used to do this in high, in, while I was in high school and I loved it and I still love it. Do you know that video? Let me know if you do. Thumb this up if you know that Cindy Crawford workout video or leave a comment because it's a good one. I'm gonna go downstairs and do that. Now that I'm warmed up because the baby's asleep in the stroller, a million trillion people on uh, YouTube that do fitness, like routine videos that like are actually trained and know what they're doing. I'm not, but I always say, talk to your doctor. You know, never miss your annual physical, and it's always a good time to get, like, your year at a glance and um, and use that moment to, you know, plan for the year in the future, what your goals are physically and, you know, and with your health. So, talk to your doctor, bud. Oh, my God, do you remember this? Yes. It's happening. Okay, let's start the warm up. Well, it hasn't even reached 60 degrees yet. It's just a little chilly. The girls have their blankets. And my Dumbo phone. Isn't this cute? Um, it's Hi, Mrs. Squirrel. Hi, Mrs. Squirrel. I'm still listening to uh, I'm Mrs. Squirrel. Hunger Makes Me a Modern I'm Girl. I'm out here trying for four miles today. Hi, everybody. I'm back from my walk. I went pretty far. I'm still a little red-faced from it, though it was cold today. Um, I don't think it reached quite 60 degrees uh, while we were out. I got these clothes, this, this stuff on sale at um, Sports Authority. And I posted about it yesterday. I got these socks, actually these Puma socks. I really like these. I got these in a bundle from Costco. They have those at Costco right now. So that's convenient considering I go there all the time. This jacket just for like, you know, working out. I've had it for seven years. Um, but they have petite. They have petite stuff. So this is a petite jacket. As you can see, you know, it fits me well which is hard to find in a jacket like this so I'll look and see if they still sell this and if they do I'll link it below I would be surprised but um you know it's nice and I like it for that and if you're super super short like I am this would be a good solution for you it's like just the the right weight it looks like since it's kind of like the velour it looks like it would be warmer than it is it's actually like a pretty um lightweight coat. I don't know. It's just perfect for like this weather, I think. Um, has a hood just in case, but I wanted to like within this, somebody had asked me and thank you. I love the comments. Love the comments. Please keep like talking to me. I like the, the conversation. Um, asked me about audiobooks and audiobooks is like that's what I do when I go when I exercise I listen to audiobooks and like what I listen to ranges so much but I thought that I'd take this opportunity since like I'm not going to do a day-to-day -day. I mean you pretty much see what I what I do I like to do like workout videos I also do Tracy Anderson which you haven't seen on this but um Tracy Anderson, The Metamorphosis, is a lot of floor work, and I have some joint issues, so I can't, even though I really do like her workouts, it's hard for me to do a lot of, like, floor work where you're, like, on all fours for my wrist, um, so I can't do that a lot. I still love, as you saw before a little bit earlier, the 1992 Cindy Crawford, uh, workout video. And it will bust your butt. I mean... It hurts. So, and I like it. There, there's um, little, like, quick workout videos, too, that you can choose as an option. I'll look. It's got to be on sale on Amazon. I'll I'll find the video, and I'll link that below, you too. You pretty much see it's workout videos, very long walks, pushing my double stroller, and um, always listening to audiobooks. So I was asked, like, for audiobook recommendations. So I'm going to take the rest of this to just let... 
you know, show you the app that I use. It's for free and um, give you some suggestions or at least show you, you know, some that I've listened to in the past that I like. I have a very eclectic taste. It's kind of like all over the place. But it, um, I do have an idea for a book that maybe could get you started because I... I listened to it last year and I found it very motivating. So I'm going to set this up and I am going to have a seat and I am going to talk to you about books. Just a second. Well, I think I mentioned these before, but these frog skins, they're called. I think I called them just frogs on my last video, but they're called frog skins. They're by Oakley. Um, they are, as you can see, mirrored, but through them. I wonder if I could do something where you could kind of see through the camera. Ooh, cool, you can. See how they're not really that dark, but everything has like a gold tone to them? Yeah, there you go. The white pillow. Check that out. And so when I'm out, it's really nice because it blocks a lot of like the bright, bright, you know, light that would make you squint plus their UV protectant. But, um... You can see everything so vividly. It doesn't really dim your view. And that kind of gold cast that it puts on everything, I really like. So I would recommend those. These are um, unisex. So I just use one of these. I mean, you can get these at any, like, um, sports store. They're really cheap. You just put them on, you know, the, the earpiece. And then I put them on and just kind of fit them to my head so that they don't, when I lean forward, they don't fall off or anything. But other than that, I mean, the fit feels comfortable. I always use my earbuds. I actually prefer the old um, Apple earbuds compared to the new ones that like go in the ear more. I like these rounder ones. I don't know. They just, you know, everybody ear ears are different shapes. These fit my ears better. Um, and I always, roll these up and you know that mentos gum i took the label off of these i have earbuds like with me in my diaper bag and in my purse because you never know like with the kids if you're gonna if they're gonna have a moment and you're going to need them I roll them up and i use these uh, mentos containers for earbud holders they're perfect <laughs> So anyway, that's kind of funny. I thought I'd mention that. I just got a new phone case. Isn't it cute with Dumbo? I just love that. My husband surprised that, surprised me with that. This is my bookshelf. I will link the OverDrive app below. You can add it onto your phone. You can add it onto your Kindle. You can add it onto your iPad. There are movies. There are um, ebooks and there are audiobooks. It's all for free. It's through your library. You like check it out like you would at a library. Um, instead of needing to return it by a certain date though, it just takes it off. You have to, it, it expires off of here and you have to check it out again. Um, so you never have a late fee involved too, which is really nice. But I think that they have a very ample selection of audiobooks. I've been very pleased. Right now, I'm listening to uh, Carrie Brownstein's uh, Hunger Makes Me a Modern Girl. It shows me it expires in three days. This is what it looks like, you know, when, um, when it comes up, for, when you're playing it. So I'm part five of six of chapter 16. So... To see kind of where I am in the book, I can go to table of contents. And by the way, when you pause it, when you're done listening to it, it will keep your place for the next time you log in. So anyway, you know, I can see I've gone through all of this and I'm right there where that blue dot is. So I can see I have, you know, this much more of the book to go. I like the audio book of this and I would recommend it just because there's some music clips in it and just some things that you wouldn't, I mean, I would re recommend reading the book, but the audio book is cool and some of them are really neat like that because you get like, they'll give an example of like an old, like in this case, like an old recording or something. So um, that was pretty neat. Most of my books, 
are that I've really liked. I have put on my wish list, but basically just to bookmark them to keep track of them. Um, I haven't done that with all of them, so I know I'm going to miss some in explaining this to you. But I will say one of the things that, one of the books that I definitely recommend to like start you on your path, something that I found very inspiring. First of all, I should say I generally like to listen to books that's narrated by the author. Though this first book I'm going to suggest to you is not narrated by the author, but it's really weird because the narrator sounds so much like her. I was beginning, like, through the book, I was just thinking it was her. The Body Book by Cameron Diaz. Um, this is a really, the foreword is narrated by her. And I really think that this is a good way to kickstart your routine. Um, it's very motivating. It's educational. And I really enjoyed it. I actually have her book, Longevity, right now. Longevity is not available on the ebooks through this app yet, but I'm waiting for that to come out. And that's because Longevity just came out. So I would suggest that, the body book. I will link that below on the Overdrive site. Nora Ephron, I really like Nora Ephron anyway, but Nora Ephron's I Remember Nothing, that was a great book. I suggest that. I would also highly suggest um, my hometown guy, Andy Cohen. Andy Cohen's books, he has two books. I thought they were really fun to listen to. The Andy Cohen Diaries um, and uh, Most Talkative. Those are both great audiobooks. Like The Goldfinch. I already have this um, bookmarked. But what you would do is you would normally just click that right there. Um, now, obviously, there's a sample. You can borrow it. But if you click more, if you want to read about the book, like right there, then you can also, there's a space there where you can click to add it to your uh, wish list. And so that's how I keep track of books that I know I want to check out, like, in the future, some of my favorite books I have intentionally put in my wish list, even though I've finished them and listened to them, just to keep track of them. Uh, because books that I particularly like, just love, I'll usually buy a hard copy and keep on my um, bookshelf in the in my family room because it's something I might want to go back to, or I want I think is good enough that I want it to be able to be something that my kids can you know pull down and access at some point when they're looking for a book. It's really good. My husband and I both listen to this. This is the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Listen to this before. I know it's coming out on, uh, on you know, at the movie theaters, and it looks like it's going to be excellent. So this might be a good one to start with, just so that you get it in before you go see it at the theater that you've um, listened to the book. We actually listened to that on a road trip, though. A Curious Mind, The Secret, to A Bigger Life by Brian Grazer. That was really good. That was a really inspiring book. Um, so I would suggest that. Watch the documentary that um, Anderson Cooper did about his mom and uh, Nothing Left Unsaid, it's called. And so I have uh, requested, Mama. I actually have... So, <laughs> Okay, so the documentary is called Nothing Left Unsaid. It was really good. And so there's a book called The Rainbow Comes and Goes and Other Life Lessons I Learned from My Mom. Um, you can read more about it. There's a sample, you know, on the, on, you can read more about it on the app. Uh, but to me, it, it's something that I want to listen to this summer, over the summer. I am excited to listen to and on my last video, which I'll link below, which is my party prep video, I was listening at the very beginning to the interview that Curtis Sittenfeld was, she was talking about her new book, 
um, with Diane Ream. It was a great interview, and I linked the interview in the description in that video. So I'll link that video below, and then uh, click on the See More, and you'll be able to get a link to the uh, to the interview that she did. But she has a new book called Eligible, and it is based off of Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, but it's like the modern, it's a modern version, like set to, you know, more currently. Um, it sounds really good. Her interview was really cool. And I guess she's a hometown sister because I didn't realize she lived in St. Louis. So she does. Andy Cohen, now Curtis Sittenfeld. So pretty cool. I thought that this, Michael Pollan book, Botany of Desire, was really interesting, and um, I would suggest that. I read, I listened to that last summer, and that was a really interesting book. Now, if you're looking for something fun, I suggest two, two things. First of all, anything David Sedaris, anything. I love him. I've loved his books for so long. A lot of times when we're on road trips, when we know all of the kids like have their headphones on and are completely either asleep or completely into like watching a movie with their headphones on or something, we will listen to David Sedaris, but it really is not appropriate for like the kids to be hearing. So we'll have it plugged in just to like where you can hear just in the front of your car, the speakers turned on just in the front of the car, and when they're not listening or, you know, we're driving at night and they're sleeping. But they are hilarious. All of them are hilarious. I had the last one that I listened to that I had never read before. I have a lot of these, like, hard copies of these, but Squirrel Seeks Chipmunk literally i was walking through my neighborhood cracking up like you can't hold back some of it's just so hilarious Bless your family in corduroy and denim when you are engulfed in flames let's explore diabetes with owls the other book that was so funny and i I think Sarah Silverman is so funny. I mean, I know that she's inappropriate, but I mean, that's part of like what, okay, let's just put it this way. I went into labor with one of my kids watching a stand-up of hers. I laughed so hard that I went into labor. So I'll always have a connection with Sarah Silverman. The Bedwetter. You have to listen to that. It is so funny. And it's serious, too, and it's, you know, I learned so much more about her, but it's, I would suggest that. That's, that's another, like, very comical and fun book to listen to. I have a couple that I haven't read yet, some by Patti Smith that I'm looking forward to. I actually have a Judy Bloom book that I'm kind of into wanting to listen to, um, there's a couple other Curtis Sittenfeld uh, books that I'm interested in listening to that I actually have marked on my wish list. And I have a book um, by Joseph Ledeau. He's at NYU, and he's been, like, the forefront researcher to understand and treat fear and anxiety uh, in the range of their disorders and origins. And it's actually a book called Anxious. Um, I've done a little bit of like online research, um, like mainly brain research. I'm really in right to right now after listening to a few TED Talks that I really liked and which turned me on to him. And he seems like a really neat and interesting Other guy. books that I, I hadn't heard of this one. But when I looked on the app, this was the only one by him that was even listed on there. So I just figured, well... You know, I'll listen to that. So, uh, just to get a feeling for his writing and, you know, research style and stuff. So, this is how you do it. I'm going to, this is my bookshelf. I'm going to add a title. I'm going to search a book. 
I'm going to pull up this just to give you, like, you know, advice beyond just what you can listen to for yourself. This Winnie the Pooh book, my children listen to audiobooks too. This is great. I have these on devices that they can use um, in their room. I, for my little ones, this is like an example of what I would do. Let me click sample. But what I would do is I would click borrow or add to wish list. So I'm going to click sample. And the sample actually takes me to Safari, but what you would normally do is is um, click the button that says add to the app and then it will load the files onto your app. But this will pull up in Safari just to give you an idea. Winnie the Pooh by A. Milne, dedicated to her. Hand in hand we come, Christopher, Robin and I, to lay this book in your lap. Okay, so I can fast forward by 10 seconds. I can also move this forward. So, you know, think about it for that, a nighttime story for, for your little ones. One that my older girls just uh, listened to that they really liked was this, Serafina and the Black Cloak. Um, it's a, they said it was a little bit scary, but it was really good. Mm. 